Hello everyone, welcome to LRDI Prep. My name is Samir Sridhana. So in this video, I will be discussing a one basic set to make you understand the concept of four set Venn diagram. In the first video lesson, we discussed the basics of four set Venn diagram, how to make a four set Venn diagram, right? You need to know what are the different uh, regions which represent the intersection of two set, three set, four set and the regions which do not intersect with any other set. So th that basic part has already been discussed in the previous video and in this particular video I will be discussing one set of four set Venn diagram which will help you in understanding the basics more clearly. So let's have a look at it. This is the set that we will be discussing in a school. Uh, what do we have here? Now it's a very small set you can easily solve it right. Uh, in a school students like four different sports football, hockey, cricket and carom. Now, the moment you see, the moment you see that there is a four set Venn diagram, right? The moment you see there are four variables, you have to make a four set Venn diagram. And if you know the structure of it, how to make it, the question becomes very easy for you. So how do we make a four set Venn diagram? We make a three cross three matrix, right? So let's make a three cross three matrix and define our different regions. So make hemisphere or triangle, whatever you want to do, right? So let's make these four triangles to divide this complete part uh, into four different regions. Now you see that we get four sets. This is the one set. This one particular triangle, right? And these two lines which are coming from these uh, two vertices of this triangle. The one set. This is our second set. This is our third set. And this is our fourth set, right? Now what do we have? The four different sports are. The four different sports are football. Let's write down the name football here. Okay, one of the sport is football and the one of the sport is hockey, one of the sport is cricket and one of the sport is carom. Okay, this is cricket and this is carom. What else we have? 8% of the student do not play any of the sport. Now, what is the meaning of this statement? When I say 8% of the complete list of students or the complete set of students that I am talking about, they do not play any sport. That means these 8% does not belong to any of these four set. So can I say that these 8% will be lying outside of this region, right? So this 8%, that means the set Venn diagram set that we are making is actually for 92% of the students, not for the 100% of the students. 8% does not belong to any of this four. That means this complete Venn diagram is for 92% of the student, right? So keep this information in mind. This will help you in finding out the answer to the question. The number of students liking exactly two sports. Now, which two sports? It is not mentioned, but it's saying that the number of students who like exactly two sports for any combination of the two sports is 80. Whatever combination you are talking about, whether it's a football or hockey, foot, hockey and cricket, cricket and carom, whatever combination of two sets that you are making, every possible two co combination, every possible combination of two sports is equal to 80. Now, you should know in a four set Venn diagram, what are the different regions representing the intersection of two sets. We know that the four corners and these two values, these two different, these two regions represent the intersection of two sets. So can I say all of these values, right? These four corners, four corners, right? And these two values will represent the intersection of two sets. So 80, 80 here and four 80s over here. What is the next value? There are 100 students who like all the four spots, which is the reason which is the intersection of all four sets, the middle cell. This is the cell which represents the intersection of all four sets. So this value is equal to 100. Okay. Now what else we have? Our question says, there is no such students who like exactly three out of these four students. Now we know that these are the regions which represent the intersection of three set and the number of students who like three sports are zero. So therefore there is no such student. So all of these values are zero. Now what we are left with is the values of only football, only hockey, only cricket and only carom. And we have the total values given here. The total number of students liking football are 480. So this value is 480. Next we have 360, so this value is 360. Next we have 420, so this value is 420. Next value that we have is 440, right? So this value is 440, yes or no? Is it clear? Alright. Now, 
the first question is how many students do not like any of these four words okay that means i'm supposed to find out this 8% of the value for that i need to find out these values right this is total 480 this total value is 480 so 80 plus 80 plus 80 is uh, 240 240 plus 100 is 340 so the remaining value is 140 so that value will be coming over here right so this value is 140 right okay and this is total 360 this is a total 360 value so uh okay so uh, we need to find out the values which are which belongs to only football only hockey only cricket and only carrom okay now let's find out these values this is only carrom okay you see that this total is 480 so if i subtract all these three values 80 plus 80 plus 80 is 2 uh, 240 plus 100 340 so the remaining value is 140 so this will be 140 right and here you see that this is total 360 80 80 80 this complete right if you look at this complete set right 80 plus 80 plus 82 uh, 40 plus 100 340 so the remaining students are 20 so this value will be 20 and uh, this is 420 so this is 240 again 340 subtract 340 from 24 420 this value will be 80 again this is 440 again subtract 340 so you will be left with 100 students belonging to only carrom now i'm supposed to find out the number of students who do not like any of these four sports and we know that that value is 8% of total number of students right and we know that that this particular set when uh, when diagram represent 92% of the total students so let's find out the total the union of set what is the union of set the union of set means those number of students who belong to any of these four right and if i have to take the sum of it what i will do is i will straight away take if i'm supposed to find out the union of set what will i do i know that this complete region of football right this complete region right let me show you it with a different color if for, for the purpose of union of set you see that this complete region this one right this black set right this complete set is 480 now if i add the remaining values which are which are outside the boundary of the uh, outside of this black boundary i'll get my union of set so this is 480 plus 20 500 500 plus 100 uh, would be 600 plus 100 would be 600 and 80 into 4 is 320 that 600 plus th uh, 320 is 920 that means my union of set is 920 what is this 920 920 is a number of students who belong to at least one of these four sports right so that is a union of set 920 that represents the 92% of the student so tell me if 92% of the total number of students are 920 so can i say 1% of total students will be 10 if 1% is 10 then 8% of the total students will be how much 8% of the total students will be 80 so answer to the first question will be 80 which is option number 3 moving on to the next question this question is asking you approximately what percentage of the students playing hockey also play at least one other sport at least one okay what are the number of students who are playing hockey it's a 360 now out of 360 i am supposed to find out what are the number of students who play at least one more sport you see that if i subtract the value of 20 here the remaining number of students play at least one more sport so leaving 20 out of 360 all of the remaining student play at least one more sport so 360 are my total students out of which 20 belongs to only hockey which is 1 by 18 1 by 18 percentage is 5.55% you should know the fractions of one fraction of 1 by 18 right now out of 100% of hockey students 5.55% belongs to only hockey that means remaining remaining 94.45% students will belong to at least one more sport so 94.45 will be the answer which is option number 2 right question number 3 if all the students in the school including those who do not play any sport start liking at least one sport 
which he or she is not playing at the present, then what could be the least number of students playing all the four sports? Now, what the question is saying that all the students, right, whether they are playing one sport or two sport or three sport or not playing any sport, have started liking one more sport. That means at least one more sport. That means they are adding one more sport uh, to their category. That means now students who are counted in two sports will now be counted in three sports, right? Now, what will be the least number of, right? The question is asking you to find out the least number of students playing all the four sports. Now, if I want to find out the, if I want to keep the value of the students playing all the four sports as minimum as possible, then I need to bring as minimum number of students as possible who are playing three sports at present and they are adding one more sport. Let's see in the Venn diagram what is the number of students who are playing at least three sports. You see that number of students playing at least three sports are already zero. So do I need to add the students? Uh, so will these are the these values are zero, right? So they they there is not even a single student who are playing three sport. So even if they started playing one more sport, will they be counted under four sport? No. That means there is zero increment in the number of students who are playing all four sport. So it will not get changed. The number of students playing all four sports will still be maintained at 100 even if every student start liking at least one more sport. Because if I want to increase the number of students playing all the four sport with minimum possible value, I need to add one sport to the students who are playing three sports only. Jo bache pehle se teen sport khel rahe hain, jab unki entry four sport mein hogi, to four sports wale bacho ka increment hoga. But wo already zero hai, to four sport wale bacho koi honge nahi, right? To fir unka value as it is same rahega, 100 pe rahega, change nahi hoga. Okay. Uh, many of you might be asking this doubt, ki jo do sports hai, usne bola ki at least one more sport like kiya unho ne. तो जो दो स्पोर्ट्स वाले जो बच्चे हैं जो दो स्पोर्ट्स खेल रहे हैं अगर वो दो और स्पोर्ट्स अपने पोर्टफोलियो में ऐड करेंगे तो वो फोर में काउंट क्यों नहीं किए बिकॉज़ मेरे को क्वेश्चन में एट लीस्ट स्टूडेंट्स पूछ रहे हैं राइट आई एम सपोज्ड टू फाइंड आउट द मिनिमम पॉसिबल राइट जो दो वाले हैं उसमें एक स्पोर्ट ऐड करोगे तो दे विल बी काउंटेड अंडर थ्री स्पोर्ट मेरे पे जो कंडीशन है द कंडीशन दैट आई एम सपोज्ड टू फॉलो इज कि हर स्टूडेंट को एक और स्पोर्ट खिलवाना है राइट right? जो 8% वाले बच्चे हैं जो कोई स्पोर्ट नहीं खेल रहे तो उनको एक स्पोर्ट और खिलवाना पड़ेगा तो सब में वन वन स्पोर्ट वाले ऐड हो जाएंगे टू स्पोर्ट्स वाले में मिनिमम वन भी ऐड कर सकते हो स्पोर्ट और दो भी ऐड कर सकते हो बट अगर मैं टू स्पोर्ट्स वालों को फोर में लेके जाऊंगा तो मेरा फिर एटलीस्ट वाला वैल्यू नहीं आएगा राइट क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू टू फाइंड आउट द लीस्ट नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स प्लेइंग ऑल द स्पोर्ट्स स्पोर्ट्स राइट तो टू वाले को थ्री में लेके जाओ फोर में नहीं फोर में लेके जा सकते हैं बट to find out the least number of sport i don't need to bring those students who are playing two sports into the category of four students right so least value playing all the four sports will still be maintained at 100 so this is the answer of the question second option that's a set the basic set to make you understand the complete four set venn diagram i hope is your theory the all clear right your basic must have got clear with this particular set in the next video we'll be discussing one more advanced level set and then I guess you will feel comfortable whenever you will be solving a set which belongs to four Venn diagram. Just now, four set ka Venn diagram. Banana padega. I hope you will be comfortable with those sets now. One more set, and I guess you will be uh, uh, you will start feeling comfortable in four set Venn diagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are willing to attend all of my live sessions on Unacademy Plus, this is my referral code that you can use to get 10% off. LRDN Smear is my referral code. Uh, using which you will get an academy plus subscription you will get 10 percent off on purchase price and you'll be able to attend all of my live session also if you follow my channel of lrdi i will give you a hundred percent syllabus coverage on this particular channel right uh, all logical reasoning and di topics will be discussed on this channel thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next part of the video thank you